right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your coffee-drinking host, Larry, and we're back here today to talk about what is a fraudulent email, how do you spot them, and how do you try to avoid getting scammed when people are sending you junk in your email, posing as official representatives of some company that you work with. This could be things like your YouTube account, in the case of this example I have here for you today, or it could be, say, your bank or some other utility where they want to get your personal information to try to steal your money. So our example here today is an email that sounds like it came from YouTube. If I click this right here, it says it's a support email from YT. It's trying to imply it's from YouTube, and it's trying to say that there is something going on with my channel, they think I'm posting spam videos, and they need to review it from the team in order to make sure that everything is kosher. And then they want my channel link, copyright complaint information, and my password. Well, the first thing you should always remember when working with any other company is they already know what your password is. They would have no reason to ask you for it. That's strike number one. Down here at the bottom, they want my password. Strike number two, is I already know what YouTube supports emails look like. I got them immediately upon joining YouTube. They say, actually, YouTube support with some other information in the header. So you immediately know. And their email is certainly not some sketchy email from the middle of Russia. This says YT controller, controller is not spelled correctly, dash seven at mail.ru. YouTube is based in the United States, so they would have an email that looks like it's from the United States. So that's another strike against them. So we're already up to three strikes against them. And now they've addressed me as Hello Chupacabra Tutorials. My Chupacabra Tutorials account is not under the name Chupacabra Tutorials on the back end. They would be addressing me either by my name or probably by my email. And then down here, it says they're going to have to review my channel to make sure that it's not up to any suspicious activity. Something worth noting about YouTube is if they're going to check your channel for anything, they're going to inform you through your dashboard and they're going to tell you through an automated notification that you've had something go on on your account. It's already under review and you don't need to do anything else besides wait for them to give you their verdict. And then you can appeal it or whatever. And it's important for something like this to know the way that these companies behave and what their policies are so that if somebody tries to fake them, you actually know what to expect. And if you're ever suspicious of this, if you ever want to verify this, you can always Google that company's behavior and log in separately from whatever links they give you in the email to verify. That way you don't go on to like somebody's fake version of a web portal and get your computer infected with a virus or anything. So we're up to like, what, four strikes here? This picture here, which is I'm guessing supposed to be the YouTube logo, isn't loading because it's hosted in the wrong part of the world, so that's another strike. And then it looks like they've got some misspellings and some grammatical problems built in here as well. That's another indicator of a bad email. So those are, what, five, six strikes? Those are a whole host of different ways that this should give you different indications that this is, in fact, a fraudulent email. They also didn't sign this as an official email from YouTube, nor do they give you any place where you should go Google in order to find additional information on what their policies are or what's going on. So just for kicks, um... Let's look up a sample YouTube support email and what these look like. Because these typically, yeah, so these ones from YouTube, they look like they're from YouTube. They've got a box inside of a box to tell you what's going on. They address you by your name and they have a lot of official grammar in here that sounds like you're being written off, read, read off the policy by some public relations officer for the company. They tell you where to go look for more information for their policies, and they tell you what's going on and what you can expect next. In no way do they ask you for your email, for any personal information, or for your password because they're the company you work with. They already know who you are. They have your password. They can log into the system and do whatever they want to you. And if you're ever suspicious of this, like let's say Wells Fargo sends you an email, 
What you do is instead of going through a link in the email, you'd probably Google Wells Fargo. And then you'd go to their website via Googling it. That way you make sure that whatever email you're trying to access to verify its authenticity, you log in directly through the website instead of potentially clicking on a fraudulent link, which might infect your computer with a virus. So I hope this has been informative for people to have an idea of what a fraudulent email looks like and how to identify it and then not click on it. And uh, that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you found this helpful. I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and don't forget to like and subscribe.